The law on artifacts of Mars, and as, as I've said before, it's time to pay for the soup. So, uh, I just uploaded Mars Station New Martians Part 1, which is actually the seventh hour-long episode in the series. Don't know when I'll get to Part 2. Now, here we have... And obviously, heavily vegetated area. This is so blatant that it's unbelievable that it can be ignored. And I get angry. I get angry that this is not being told to the public. This is just so blatant as far as vegetation. It's beyond belief that the media won't deal with it. What else are you going to call this? You know, we see little patches where we have all this wispy area and a little bit sticking up. The rock doesn't do that, generally. These are plants. Some kind of forested area, in my opinion. But there isn't any question that we're looking at vegetation here. The question is, why do they continue... With these asinine stories about bacterial life living on the ground. That's horse dung. It's horse dung! Now, look at this thing. In the video, I uh, called this a uh, crater within a crater, but um, this is actually some kind of a building. Uh, folks. Apparently, it looks like it's five-sided, to be honest with you. And it has this depressed depress area and it's all smack dab in the center. So I call it Bullseye Crater or something. Uh, this is some kind of artificial structure. It could even be... It wouldn't be a stretch to call it some kind of a sports stadium. Definitely artificial. You gonna call that natural? Check yourself in. Sorry. It's not natural. And, okay, over here we have... You can see what are obviously... lines of trees. They might not be exactly the same as here on Earth. I wouldn't expect them to be. But there's no question we're looking at vegetation. That's not an marginal point. What are you going to do? Tell me I'm looking at boulders? Don't. Let that sink in. Don't. I'll post the uh, coordinates for this. A lot of these things you can clearly see reach for the sky. I'm trying to get a 3D uh, look at this. And I can begin to tell you how tall they are. Mars is a lower gravity planet, so it might be that the vegetation would grow a lot taller. Right in the center, looks like some kind of structure, not going to do much with it, but you can see this pattern all over this area where you have, it looks like things are growing on elongated stems. We're not uh, talking probably about Stems exactly as we know it. I've gone into this in uh, some of my nature walks. Now, science can't even explain. Our science cannot even explain some of the forces going on inside plants. See, according, 
according to what we understand today, the highest anything should be, any plant should be, would be maybe six inches. But of course we, of course that's not the case. So, there are forces going on inside plants here on this planet that we don't understand, let alone Mars. Frankly, I think these people are embarrassed. So they try to reconcile their uh, scientific theories with what we're seeing, with the life we're seeing on Mars. I don't think. I don't think their scientific theories last very long, folks. Uh, I really don't. See, this whole thing is a threat. They have this whole picture built up of the Earth and all that, and. If you prove that, if you show life on that planet, then it's going to screw up everything for them. And they don't like that. Besides the fact that it's going to land a bunch of them in jail because it's called misappropriation of funds. This is what I talked about before. They're breaking the law and they deserve to be punished. If they're sitting there talking about microbes under the surface, and they know damn well that there is life on the surface of that planet and artifacts and such for such, and they're drawing money, that's misappropriation of funds. It's called fraud! It is illegal! It is a common law felony! This is why these people will do anything they can to cover this up. Interesting, look right in the center, there's a blue patch, possibly, dare I say, the pond. Dark blue patch. Let me break out my drawing tool. That doesn't uh, really fit, no, does it? So here we have the same pattern repeated all over again, all over here. It's plants, it's heavy vegetation, possibly some type of trees. And, of course, the government and the media pay no attention, as usual. They keep talking about uh, microbes growing underground, blah, blah, blah. And I suspect there's more in vegetation here. I think a lot of what we're seeing here is artificial. I don't think vegetation can really explain everything I'm seeing here, to be honest. Look at something like this, and I cross types situation. Yeah, this is all wrong. We'll try a little bit more before I go. Trying to get a bird's eye view here. The problem is, the more you do that, the more the Back to flatten the sound and end up not being able to understand things as well. Well, I'd say we're seeing a mixture of heavy vegetation and really artificial structures. In fact, look at this uh, trio of structures right here in the center. Break out my little drawing tool before we go there, there, there. Things look mighty similar. Uh, repetition happens uh, in the natural world and repetition. Artificial world too. At any 
great. That's about it. Let's feature that Mars Station. I'll find some music for this so I don't get too bored. But, uh, there's no question. This area I put down is bizarre. And there's no reason for them to hold back and say, oh, yeah, you see, bull it's bullshit. Sorry. If you're telling me I'm seeing uh, rocks and stuff, then you're a liar. Obviously, there's much more to this than that. I call anybody a liar who comes up to me and says, oh, I'm looking at, looking at his rocks and boulders and sand dunes. Nope, it's not going to happen. No matter facts of Mars. Keep watching for Mars Station. Episode, next episode may take me quite some time. Well, hopefully I won't have to rebuild any more sites. Thanks for watching.